welcome to DIY with Kayla and I'm here with Nia. Hi. And she's gonna show us how to make pussy hats. And she is an expert knitter. She's made all of these amazing hats. And she decided that she wanted to make pussy hats. So Nia, what possessed you to wanna do that? I decided to make the pussy hats when I heard about the Women's March rally and I thought that the pussy hats would complement it well. Okay, so first we're going to cast on. How we're going to cast on is by first making a loop and knotting it, leaving a tail at the end. Then we're going to wrap the yarn around our finger and just make loops. We're gonna to count to 72 loops. The bottom of the knitting, you can see, should be perfectly straight. If it is twisted in any way, your hat will come out twisted. I will go under to pick up this stitch. By doing this, it will connect the hat. Then, I will knit one, and I will knit two. Make sure that you keep the tail out so it doesn't get mixed up with your guiding yarn and you end up knitting with your tail. That would not be good. Then, after I knit my two stitches, one, two, I will go into a purl stitch and I will purl two. How'd you learn how to knit, Nia? I went to a library one evening with my mom and we just decided to Learn it. Does your mom know how to knit? Um, she's given up. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't taken on to it as much as I have. Okay, so here I'm about 10, 10 rows in of that knit two, purl two. As you can see, this is the knit two part, purl two, knit two, purl two. So that is the effect that you get after doing that. I'm pretty content with the thickness of my border, so I'm going to begin to knit now. So, all you're going to do is just continue to knit all the way around the 72 stitches. Even where you purled before for the border, you're going to turn those into knit stitches. So here are two of my purled stitches, but I'm just going to knit them now. So sometimes when I knit, I'll lose complete focus and I'll knit one, and when I'm pulling that one off, another one will come off too. So all you have to do, and you can notice that one has come off when some of your knitting is on one needle and one is straight off, not on the other. So all you have to do is just go back, pick it up with your fingers, and just hook it back on. And if you drop one completely and you don't notice and you keep knitting, you're gonna see you have a hole. All you have to do then is just go back and unhook one, to, in this case, as many as it takes, and then you can find where you have the hole. Then, you just have to figure out what happened, and in this case, I will just have to go underneath and pick it up there, and then continue to knit. Back, and then I can see that I have fixed my hole. The way that you can tell if it's the right time to bind off is if you go above your border and you place your hand down. And if the tip of your middle finger is at the top of the hat, it's the perfect time to cast off, bind off. So always make sure before you decide to bind off that you trace up your stitch to the top. So for me, this is the first stitch of the last row. There's many ways to cast off, but the way that I cast off is I knit two, and then I go and I get the first one I knitted, and I pick it and I place it over the second one I knitted. 
Then, this is the second one I knitted, and it becomes my first. And the new one becomes my second. So then I pick that one up and lift it over. And now the second one becomes the first, and I knit a new one to become the second, and so on. And make sure when you cast off or bind off that you're doing it very loosely because if you do it too tight, your hat will become smaller because you've tightened it. So make sure that you do it really loose or for some people what they like to do is they like to transfer their knitting onto a wider needle which helps them keep it loose. Okay, so now I'm on my last one. What I want to do now is take it and pull to make a big loop so I don't lose it. I set my needles aside and then I take the rest of my yarn ball and I'm just going to make a knot. I'm not going to cut it here because I'm going to sew the hat shut so I'm going to need more yarn. Whereas if you make a regular hat this is where you would cut it because you would have it closed. And that's how you make a pussy hat. Thanks Mia so much for showing us and please like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.